Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the MTG Lion monthly review or, or the monthly magic box, if you will. And yeah, I came back from home from pre-release and I found this package in the door. It wasn't shipped correctly, it was shipped late, so a lot of things to complain about. You have two booster boxes, a Battle for Zendikar. It is nice that I get to open them on the channel, so I will have lots of videos coming up soon. And I got a case, but not the case I was expecting. So this is a pre-release kit case. Uh, they come in 18, and yeah, that's a lot of them. So we're going to crack open the boxes as well as this, but I do want to talk about the other stuff we got, and this is probably the most valuable thing in the Magic Monthly box uh, this month. And also, of course, how could we forget the iPad? They sent an iPad so we can play Magic Online, but when I logged into Magic Online, it can only take my money. So it doesn't work, and it's a, a week later. So let's click this button, let's connect. And it's not gonna work because it's not useful. So the MTG line box is not particularly productive. Uh, it's not valuable, I think it's too much. The delivery is late. Uh, oh, we also got posters. And I'm, I have a feeling that these posters will be handed out to my patrons. So this is a beautiful... So the poster was the best part. Everything else was a little junky. I don't know why I need a case of uh, pre-release kits. I don't really know why a case of pre-release kits is 18. That sounds kind of like a weird number. We got some boxes we can go ahead and open. I've already opened them, so you can check out the... Probably some videos upcoming. Anyway, the MTG line box is a little lackluster. I think the iPad was not very good for a Magic player since you can't play Magic Online with an iPad. You can't play Magic Online, you can't play Magic Duels, they'll steal your money and they'll take your collection. You, you'll buy cards and then they will disappear. Your collection will just disappear and you can't connect to the server. Uh, and ironically, um, I've talked to customer service and customer service at MTG Line is really bad. It's pretty much the same as Magic Duels where they, at Magic Duels, what they say is, we can't help you until we get your customer ID. We can't get your customer ID until you log on to the server. By the way, the server is not going to work ever. The same with MTG Line. MTG Line says, oh, I can't give you tracking because we lost tracking. But trust me, tracking is coming and I can't. Give a repackage it for you or send it to you on time because our staff is pretty lazy and it takes them a long time to package stuff. Oh, very frustrating. Anyway, uh, look forward to opening soon and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.